They will all face David Anderson, a right-hander for Bridgeport, who will make his fourth start of the year tonight. He is 2-0 with a 1.52 ERA on the season, coming off of a victory against the Ducks his last time out last Wednesday. Bridgeport Bluefish right-hander David Anderson, just 22 years old, out of Syracuse, New York, 5'10", 160 pounds, stands up on the mound here, making his first start at Bethpage Ballpark. He faced the Ducks last Wednesday up at the ballpark at Harbor Yard and pitched very well, six innings of one-run ball and a 6-1 win for the Bluefish. That clinched a sweep of the three-game set and at the same time clinched the Ferry Cup for the Bluefish for the first time since 2012. Phelan Lentini will lead things off for the Ducks. He bats from the right side. And the first pitcher, Manderson, is a fastball in for a strike. And the count nothing and one. Lentini normally number 22, wearing 29 tonight with the commemorative breast cancer awareness night jerseys. And the 0-1, hit on the ground foul, third base side, a big hop into the seats. And the count quickly nothing and two. Following the game tonight, there will be a pyrotechnical fireworks extravaganza for fans. As part of the Breast Cancer Awareness Night festivities, first 1,500 fans here tonight received a commemorative pink t-shirt, courtesy of First Equity Title Closing Services and PinkTie.org. A foul ball by Lantini caught the foot of Louis Rodriguez, the catcher behind the plate, the count nothing and two still. And the first 5,000 fans in attendance received commemorative pamphlets that detail the various organizations and coalitions about breast cancer awareness here in attendance tonight. Thanking them for their time and commitment to the fight against breast cancer, a very important cause and the Ducks for the 10th straight year recognizing that tonight. The 0-2 is a swing and a miss, a sweeping slider out of the strike zone and Lantini chased, strike three, first strikeout for Anderson. And there's one away here in the bottom of inning number one. Now right, Delta Cleary Jr. to the plate. Cleary Jr., the center fielder, number two hitter, a switch hitter, batting from the left side of the plate. Out of the windup, first pitch from Anderson, and Cleary Jr. takes a fastball strike, the count nothing and one. Hitting 306 on the year is Cleary Jr., a home run, 33 runs batted it in. And the 0-1 is chopped on the ground weakly here. Third base side of the mound. Anderson charges, fields the throw to first just in time. Nice job by Rodriguez to catch that ball. The throw was right in the path of an oncoming Cleary Jr. And Rodriguez did well to make the catch and get his glove out of the way. Otherwise, that could have proven to be a potential major injury. But a good play by Rodriguez, and there's two away here in the bottom of the first. That'll bring Dan Lyons to the plate, shortstop and three hitter for the Ducks batting from the right side as Anderson tries to mimic Marshall and work a one, two, three bottom of the opening inning. First pitch on the way from Anderson and Lyons takes up high off the glove of Rodriguez for ball one. In addition, as part of the festivities tonight, all three of the bases have been painted pink, first, second, and third, and a pink ribbon has been painted into the dirt Behind the batter's box, behind home plate. 1-0. Fastball on the outside corner. Nicely thrown for a strike. The count even at 1-1. One one. Lions hitting 309 on the year. 11 homers, 65 runs batted in. Having a fantastic season with the Ducks. And here he swings and grounds one of the left side to his left, Wilson Batista. He fields and throws to first in time for the out. Lines the ground out to third and a 1-2-3 bottom half of the first. Oh, yeah, to the bottom half of the second inning and the Ducks in an early hole as the Bridgeport Bluefish have opened up a 2-0 lead. David Anderson back to the mound. And it will be Randy Ruiz to lead things off for the Long Island Ducks. Designated hitter batting in the cleanup spot. Anderson's first pitch on the way, and Ruiz will take a fastball for a strike. And the count nothing and one. Ruiz back, joining the Ducks on the road trip after missing most of the month of August with a hamstring injury. And here he takes a big breaking ball inside. And leaving up the count at one and one. So good to see him back in the lineup. And a bunch of hits on the road trip as the 1-1 one -one from Anderson on the way, and he will take inside for ball two. For the season, he's hitting 335 with the Ducks. Seven home runs, 35 runs batted in. 
Infield shifted around here to the left side for Ruiz as the 2-1 is swung on and missed. Good fastball from Anderson to count 2-2. Two two. Third baseman Batista playing near the line. The shortstop Valdez over to his right, closer to third. And the second baseman Josh Prince playing behind second just to the third base side of the bag. The 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss, strike three. Ruiz chasing the slider, dipping down and away. Second strikeout for Anderson, and there's one out here in the second inning. Anderson looking strong here in the early going. So that's the first out. And here is Sean Burrows now, the first baseman and five hitter from the left side. First pitch, and he takes the fastball outside for ball one. Burrows had 342 on the year, four homers, 43 runs batted in, playing here against his former team. We spent the last year and a half with before being traded to the Ducks. 1-0 was way up and outside again. And it's 2-0. Infield back to normal here. The third baseman Batista playing well off the bag and in tight with the lefty hitter at the plate. 2-0. Foul right back behind the plate. Count goes to 2-1. and one. Earlier this year with the Bluefish, Burroughs was hitting very well before he got traded. 2-1 here, fouled back behind the plate once again. Keeps the count even at two balls and two strikes. Since coming to the Ducks, though, Burroughs has been red hot. 20 games, 390 average. With a home run and 16 runs batted in. 32 hits and 82 at-bats. And here he swings and misses for strike three. Chasing that slider again, diving down and in. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And that's three for the game out of the first five batters for Anderson. Quickly two away. So far, Anderson has thrown 17 and two-thirds innings. And in that span, has struck out 11 while walking eight. Had a rough first outing. He only allowed a run in five and two-thirds and one. But he walked six against the Revolution on August the 15th. Took a no decision in the loss in, in Sugarland August 21st, and then the win against the Ducks last Wednesday. His little check swing flare to the mound off the rubber, fielded by Anderson on the little pop up by Blank. And another one, two, three inning as the Ducks go in order. We'll head to the third here at Beth Page Ballpark, Bridgeport 2, Long Island nothing. Now the Ducks turning an excellent 3 6 reverse force double play to end the top half of the third inning. And when that final out was made, that was the 15th out of tonight's ballgame. Did you know that a 15 minute phone call? To Geico, could save you 15% or more on your car insurance. Get a free quote today. Call 1-800-947-AUTO, 1-800-947-AUTO, or visit geico.com. First pitch at the bottom of the third from David Anderson is in for a strike to Cody Puckett. And the count nothing in one. Kicks and fires. Puckett pops it over the screen behind the plate. Rebounds back down below. And the count nothing in two. Mentioned Anderson pitching very well against the Ducks last week. Six innings of one run ball allowed just three hits and two walks while striking out four and has shown a very good job of mixing up his pitches here in the early going with a hard fastball and a sweeping slider diving down and away. The 0-2 popped up on the infield right near the pitcher's mound. Who's going to catch it? Andres Rodriguez coming down now. The catcher, Luis Rodriguez, makes the catch in the webbing of his glove. It almost popped out, but he just got it in the webbing of his glove and that is the first out here in the third inning. Seven straight, retired by Anderson to open up the game. Anderson earlier this year was pitching in the North Country Baseball League, same league where Ducks after their Sam DiMatteo was pitching. He was pitching with the Newburgh Newts and made 16 appearances, 2-2, two 2.38 two, 2 ERA with seven saves, and opponents hit just 194 against him in 22 and two-thirds innings. Here, a ground ball foul by Anthony Vega up the first baseline, and they count nothing in one. In the North Country Baseball League, a new league on the block, an independent league up in the Northeast. They've produced a bunch of 